this what you see is a 4000 watts motor speed controller that I'm going to use for DC motors now guys this is going to be the part 2 video and the link for part 1 video will be provided in the description you can check it out that video contains the wiring the connections and a few tests with induction motors a few resistive loads and universal motors high speed up to 14,000 rpm do check it out so for this video or project I'm going to use this ply board and I'm going to mount this controller on the ply board with the help of two provided screw slots and the next most important component is going to be a 35 amperes bridge rectifier without the rectifier the controller and the ply board look somewhat like this now let's make a point for drilling a hole for the rectifier now let's do the drilling and I'm going to use a screw to mount it properly and strongly on the ply board okay so with that being done let's move on to the connections of the rectifier to the controller so guys the two blue wires that you see are the AC terminals as indicated on the rectifier you see so these two blue wires will be connected to the output terminals of the controller these two are the output terminals line and neutral output as indicated here so blue wires will be connected over here and the overall output of this entire circuit is going to appear on this green wire and orange wire and it is going to be positive and negative accordingly because the output is DC so let's do the connections of the blue wires and here it's complete now it looks somewhat like this and guys this is a 24 volts DC motor so I'm going to use this motor for testing this controller it is just 24 volts and I'm going to run it from 60 to around 220 volts max like I'm going to force it okay so because it is a uh, free load like it is running freely no load has been given to the motor so it is not going to consume much of the current and run easily without burning out so let's start it This is a pretty big DC motor with a big flywheel attached and it has 180 volts, 4000 RPM and an input current of up to 4 amperes. So I'm going to run this with the controller. So guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it.
Well guys finally after a long wait you can see I've got the wind it is not very high speed wind but still it is enough to start it up and these are the two wires coming out from the turbine you can see nothing is connected now all that remains is a continuous test of the voltage that it is generating at such a low rpm so guys let's measure the voltage here as you can see at present it is producing around 5 volts dc and the voltage is increasing and the weight is also increasing here i've reached around 6. Point, uh, you are close to 7 volts which is pretty good more than 7 volts well this is the max i have reached yet 7.3 at least finally i'm getting 7.3 volts Let's point the meter towards 20 volts DC mode, okay? And connect these two wires. Okay, so the wires have been connected. Keep watching the display screen. Okay, I will keep it like this. Okay. Simple hand rotation. Three volts, four volts, four point five volts. Yeah. Now let's do some rope rotation. Okay, keep watching the display screens. 
Whoa, the voltage was more than 20 volts. That's interesting. Let's do the test again. Seems like it has a 24 volts motor. Keep watching the display screen. 31 volts DC. That is very nice. Once again, let's see if I can take it even higher. Okay. Yeah, 31 volts was the maximum I could do. Let's measure the current now. So guys, keep watching the display screen. Whoa, 5.69 amperes. Now the motor is very powerful. It is generating somewhere around 5.69. I'll take it as 6 amperes if I could just rotate it a little harder. So 6 amperes and 30 volts. So 180 watts. Okay, so guys, I'm going to try once again and a little more harder. Let's see if I can generate more amperes. Okay, keep watching the display screen. So guys, as you saw that I generated 6.10 amps with rope rotation. That was a really high current. So now I'm going to test this 12 volts car indicator bulb. And I'm going to glow this with this generator. Okay, so the terminals have been connected. Let's wound the rope. Yeah, let's keep it like this. A big recommendation for all to check my 3D prints page and my socials for even more fun. Links are in the description. And lastly, subscribe this channel and share my videos with your friends for a stronger community. Best regards, Electron.